there's a couple of things that I just wanted to to mention of uh, things that you've been doing again, kind of you know open source out there. What one of them's minimum CD. Could you talk a little mm. bit about minimum CD? Yeah, so this we started as a conversation at the virtual bar at DevOps Enterprise Summit. We were talking about how people don't under they just look at the tools and they'll build and deploy, or uh, and and so they they get hurt or they cause problems in their organizations and CD that literally gets banned in their organization. Yeah. Or people say we're doing continuous delivery, we're delivering once a month. Yeah. Because continuous delivery means we deliver on demand and we only demand once a month. Yeah. Right. And the you know going back to the goal of continuous delivery in this context is to improve the organization yeah but you're not going to get there if you're not doing real cd and so a bunch of us put together okay we have a lot of different industries represented here at the bar lots of different delivery contexts it's not just the you know, web apps in the cloud or something yeah what is the minimum set of activities that will get us to improving the organization like they talked about in accelerate that's yeah. true in every single context. And so we yeah. just put that list together and we were, it's like, if we couldn't, if it, if it wasn't true in every context, we took it off the list. Yeah. Right. And said, okay, now these are the problems, the minimum set of problems to solve, to start seeing the advantages of continuous delivery and see yeah. the change in organization. And so, yeah. it, and we keep iterating on that, uh, you know, adding more, um, you know, like uh, experience reports or tips or tricks, but we keep mm -hmm. the list short and anybody can contribute. Uh, anybody can sign on that they agree. We were just completely chuffed that you signed on after a pull request <laughs> to modify the language. That was amazing. Um, and so I, we've been getting a lot of feedback that people are actually using this now to kind of drive the strategy in their companies. Yeah, great. Great. Thank you. The, 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 uh, one, one of the, uh, around the same time, what, one of the other big wins that, that certainly amused me was that you got the, the inventor of Git flow to admit that it was not compatible with continuous delivery. <laughs> so the other recommendation I have for people is if you're frustrated, uh, don't just rant, you know, have a beer or in my case, have a bourbon yeah. and then, and then go see if you can get people to fix it. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I did. I was just like, I had one, just one too many conversations with a tech lead who said that Gitflow is the only way to do delivery. Yeah. Uh, and wanted our platform to support Gitflow. And so I just, I, I, I tweeted at Vincent, please fix this. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Very, and, 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 and uh, Atlassian changed their definition to say that Gitflow wasn't wasn't the recommended uh, practice. The other, the other tip I have for you <laughs> is to make sure and grow your external network because a yeah. friend of mine left uh, TBA and moved to Atlassian. And I said, Alex, we can fix the Atlassian. <laughs> 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 Great. Uh, one one more thing to add on, which which is which is maybe even funnier, is um, scaled agile DevOps. <laughs> yeah, so I, I am I am proud to be a scaled agile devops master facilitator no accredited accredited facilitator accredited facilitator i'm sorry yeah. that's quite quite yeah. true yeah. sad af <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> now that's that actually uh we were at the a dojo consortium like private you know, mini conference uh and we were talking about how can we push some of this information out to the community how do we open source the stuff that we're doing and we were listing all these ideas and things. And then at the end of it, I said, you know what we really need is a scaling framework. And of course, everyone <laughs> started throwing things at me because that's completely antithetical to where we were going. <laughs> uh, but then at dinner, Ross Clanton, who uh, founded the, the Target Dojo, uh, we were sitting there and, and just out of nowhere, he said, scaled agile DevOps maturity framework. So you too can be a sad MF. <laughs> and... and uh, <laughs> And so I went home and registered those domains uh, <laughs> and it took me a couple of years to get around to it, but then, you know, we started building out content. Uh, and so it's, there's, there's things, everything in there is based off of something real that people are doing Yeah. Uh, with the, with the addition that release trains aren't very agile because trains don't turn. So we have release <laughs> convoys because convoys can change direction. It's, it's, so it's all it's, nautically themed. It's, it's, it's very, very amusing. <laughs> and I've, I, I, I've, I've done I've done at least one YouTube 
Uh, I should have worn it today, but I've, I've done at least one YouTube video where I wore the T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was that was amazing. Uh, I have had some people give me feedback that I really need to put a disclaimer on there that it's not real. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that I sure I'm sure that people read read it and think it's advice. <laughs> Uh, I mean, my position on that is that if you work somewhere where they think that's real, you should immediately quit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just I, a litmus I, test for intelligence. So. Yeah, I, 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 I think I, I think on that note, we should probably call a halt. Uh, it's been it's been lovely talking to you t today, and your experience of doing these things is so valuable and so interesting to learn from and i'm sure that there's there's going to be lots of people that will have found it helpful so so thanks again for for agreeing to do this today no it's a it's a privilege thank you dave i mean all of us have got to be out there pushing or we're just not going to bring yeah. the industry forward and uh it's, i'm just honored to be part of the team that's great thank you um i will wrap up by saying thank you very much indeed for watching if you've got this far and if you've enjoyed the contents and you aren't already hit subscribe and hit like thanks again and thanks once more to equal experts for sponsoring today's episode thank you